Hello and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robin Sun. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anybody you think might enjoy this. And I bet there are a lot of people who might enjoy this. So we're working on the Jane Austen fold sort of mega envelope. This is more like the size I'm I said this in the last video that Jane Austen might have used. But I was just wondering what would happen if I used a great big 12 by 12 um, scrapbooking paper. And this is what I've got. So this is one of my um, handmade faux postage. This is one of my postcard images shrunk down to about one quarter the size um, and it's got a sticker on it and some so but I don't really know whether I'm going to send this to somebody or because I think if you send something they want the real postage up in the upper right hand corner so I think it's allowable to put fake postage inside but it shouldn't be here but if I'm going to just give it to somebody then I would put it here and I haven't made that decision yet. So we wait. So again, this um, bottom flap is folded in. Now, in the last video, we made this little envelope together. And I um, sort of finished it by putting in this these circles and um, adding a magnet so now it's really easy to open it and then one has a special secret place for a private message or thought i love that sound of magnets <laughs> life's little teeny tiny pleasures and this is the little notepad that's held in by a very small um, belly band. And if you tuck the notepad, you can take the notepad all the way out, or you can leave it here. And the belly band is right underneath where the staples will go. So that sort of holds that in place. And then I'd started working on this in the previous video, Pretty Little Butterfly. And I had just done a piece of paper that was hinged right here, but um, all this paper that I'm working with has just white on the back, and that was it was a little glaring. Um, so I put another piece of paper, this kind of pale greeny blue, and I made um, a little paper cut along the top, and so I kind of did this little hinged piece of paper front and then I added another piece for the back and I added a stacked label medallion here. And here I used some of one of the other um, papers that I'd gotten out to work with, but I'm leaving it just plain. If somebody got this and they wanted to put a little photograph there or a special word of encouragement. That would be great, but I don't think, because this is the tucking in end, and it goes inside the top part here, I didn't want to make that choice for somebody. And then this section right here, I decided that I would not decorate over the top of, because it's the bird that's on the front, and this is the bird's tail. And I didn't want to mess that up. So now you're ready to open it up. It's so fun. Now, normally, when you make one of these folded letters, when you open it up, you've got all this writing space. And then you close it all up. And the great thing about this fold is that now everything that's written is all tucked inside and even if you kind of po poked it open I still really couldn't read very much 
so it stays a nice private letter especially if you put some sort of a seal or a sticker on the back but this is a piece of 12 by 12 paper and somehow this ocean of white possibility um, just seemed a little bit overwhelming and I decided to break it up by putting some other stuff also I really want to sort of fill this letter fold um, structure like as much as I can to see how much weight and how much stuff you can put in and still maintain that privacy so on these four sections right here I decided to just add pockets this one says regards which I thought was a very lovely Jane austen -y word how's that for making up adverbs as we go um adjective Ah, oh, Jane austen -y describes a thing so it's an adjective um these are some cards that I drew a while ago and I have had in my stash now see how this goes past the edge of the paper but when I fold this up it's just going to become part of the middle and it's not really going to get in anybody's way so I decided that was okay this card fits inside the pocket very nicely now I was kind of thinking there's room to do a little bit more uh, you know decoration on this very plain paper so I was thinking that I could do that another possibility for um, for these uh, faux postage pieces is that I could put them on the inside and then leave the real actual postage for the outside so I could do that and then I had this wonderful bird from my postcard images and I thought it might make this um oh I didn't show this to you this is a notebook and it just has some writing pages in it I was taking away all this writing space so I thought I would add a little bit more I have some charms here to delight and this is just cardstock on the outside and I made a belly band here so I could have made a pocket but I kind of liked this belly band idea that holds the back cover and again this belly band goes right up to the edge of the binding just like this belly band goes to the edge of this binding and I thought this was a little blank so I really like this bird and I thought make a wonderful statement because birds fly through the air and if I sent this through the mail it would go by air mail oh look this is actually a little taller than I wanted see if I can snip this just a little bit closer there that's better now east to west here we're doing fine yeah and I think I can make that work so we wait for the glue I'm sure you've seen my videos before and yes this is Elmer's glue 
which I feel fine about using with this project. It's just paper to paper. All right, now. I'd rather have a bit of the belly of the bird going oops, um, past the bottom of the notebook then this little, I wanted to pull that down as much as I could. And I was going to put that there, but maybe not. Maybe not. Could put it there. And then a person would you know, write around it. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this very important question for a while longer. Uh, yeah. So, I think I'm pretty much done. So now we will close this up. And... See um, just how full. Whoops. Okay, so I think that this is getting about as hard as I would difficult as I would like it to get to um, stuff. I think the more stuff I put in here, it's getting harder to open and close, which means some of these edges might start ripping. So I have to sort of slow down here. Um, there's the little clip I had. So this is envelope. You can see that's pretty, you know, stuffed. But it actually holds it fine. I'm if I send this through the mail, it's gonna definitely cost more than um, whatever it is that stamps. They all say forever on them. They don't say the prices anymore. So um, not all of them, but many of them do. Anyway, I don't know the price of regular mail, but I think if this was flat, it would go via regular postage. But because it's so bulky. I'm pretty sure they're going to ask more money. And I'm definitely going to put some sort of a sticker or a seal or something there. And I will probably ask them to hand cancel it. They have a stamp that does that. So I'll probably do that. But anyway, there we are. Yay! Let's um, open it up because it's very juicy. And I want the last parting image. Ta -da! To be, um, you know, of the beauteousness. So, my blessing for you at the end of this video is I hope you get art in the mail. I hope you have somebody to share art with in the mail. I mean, even if it's like a kid, like a like a niece or a nephew or a or a grandkid or something, or your neighbor or who knows. But um, but actually, it's really fun to do this with adults too because our manual dexterity is so much more advanced, and so we can make really cool stuff. So, anyway, I wish you artistic full. <laughs> That's a ridiculous word. Um, artistical full, whatever, uh, art, uh, art filled, um, uh, po postal stuffs. And, um, I hope you have fun making things and sending them out to people. I got a letter in the mail the other day from a friend I've been sending these to and, you know, my postcards and she's an old high school friend. We've known our, each other for like a really long time. Anyway, 
it was a really sweet letter and I was so happy to get it and she's now writing to me because I'm sending her postcards so that's a good outcome may you have good outcome from all your mail there we go have a great day thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time